Hey guys, I'm Victor Garcia. I'm your CS tutor for this year. Uh, I'm a computer engineering student, uh, third year at UCSB. And, yep. Thanks, Victor. Uh, tell me more about your general hobbies. What do you like to do? I love to draw, I love to paint, and I really love to animate. Uh, that's a big part of who I am. I also like to work out, and on the side, I like to play just a little bit of uh, guitar. Awesome. So what actually made you decide to pursue computer science and programming? Well, I really wanted uh, like a career that is flexible. Like I did not want to be stuck in one one place for the rest of my life. So I, I was trying to fight, figure out in my high school, uh, like by the end of high school, I wanted something that will let me, let's say I want to become an animator or I want to later on work at like a in space industry like NASA or maybe even Apple and what's the what's one thing that each of those places need are computer engineers computer scientists people who know how to code and work well with software so that's a big part of why I am studying CES great so how exactly did you start your computer science and programming journey I actually started a lot exactly where you guys are right now I my high school the in my third year, they did the first ever CSAP class, and I was there, one of the few people there, and not a lot of the teachers there knew CS, so I struggled pretty much by myself looking at videos online, and so that's my start. And from there, I build uh, projects using Arduinos. I made a little robot that goes on the piano and presses the notes. And I made like little uh, games in Unity with CS. So it was a lot of fun. And I thought, well, this is perfect for my dream job where I could go wherever I want and do whatever I want. So that's why I chose computer engineering at UCSB. Thanks. So what were uh, your biggest challenges, both in the past and actually currently? My biggest challenge in the past was when I came to UCSB and I saw everybody somehow knew exactly uh, the problems to all the homeworks and to all the CS projects. And I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> I do not know any of this. So I felt very much like, am I like not able to do this? But I think it's more of like, uh, they just started early or they just have a different path and I'm here on my path and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna try it. Uh, Currently, now, my biggest problem is just job applications. They're very hard. They're very nervous-inducing. So, yeah, big problem. Understandably so. Um, so, what's your advice to anyone looking to start the program? My biggest advice is just start. Find a project that is fun, uh, something that you want to see that isn't made yet. Like, I have so many, like projects and ideas in mind that like I think it would be cool if someone made this well just make it or try make it even if you don't end up making what you wanted you still learn a lot on the way thanks Victor is there anything else you want to share uh I am extremely happy to be helping you guys because along the journey I will be learning as well so I'll be also learning along with you guys see you next video thank you Peace.